it's not often I get to lay down on the job, but today's a special occasion because we're talking about day-night shades. And you can probably see this one's really dingy and nasty looking. They're made out of cloth and cardboard kind of stuff, but and they're washable. And we did have a question from one of our subscribers. He said, how do you get the day night shades down? And sometimes they're difficult. They're made to be really easy to get down, but sometimes they're not. And I'm just going to go through the process that you're supposed to go through to get them down. But oftentimes RVs just, honestly, they aren't built really well. Uh, and so they kind of throw things together a little bit too fast sometimes. So what you want to do is there's a couple of strings that are mounted down here at the bottom. And those are probably going to be a number two square drive, um, which I've got mounted here in the handy dandy screwdriver. And up top there, depending on the length of the shade, there's going to be two or three clips up there. So the idea is to take a flat bit screwdriver, make sure the shade is down so your aluminum bars are not in the way, and you just get up in here and find the clip fry it out. Now there sometimes can be a little bit of a pain when they're stiff. There we go. Cut those out. Once you got the clips broken loose, you should be able to push the shade back. But oftentimes they mount those clips too close to the back of your valance. And so you can't do it. And again, this is that's the case with this one. So what I've got to do is take the balance off as well, and then the whole shade will come down. Up inside the balance, there are a couple L brackets. Once again, two or three, depending on the length of your balance. Now I've got the top loose. There's two on the bottom. One of them already happens to be out. Now, now that you got those loose, you should be able to move your balance one way or the other and release the strings. These strings are tensioners. And I'll go more into those when we put this back together. Now you have the two strings released, put a little clips on the bottom. Voila! So now that you've got the shade out, shade balance and everything, you should be able to just pull up on it out of the frame. This little edge here is what holds on to these brackets. The bracket will actually, let's call them cleats for lack of a better term. The cleat will actually go in under here and then you twist up and clip the shade itself onto the cleat. Now if we take a look at these cleats, I'll show you what I'm talking about. These things being built wrong. Slip shot can see how the cleat is right up to the edge of the valance. So when the valance is mounted on the wall, you can't push your shade out far enough to get this part released. You can release the front, but you can't move the shade back because it's hitting the wall. So thus you have to do this. Now you can fix that if you want to be able to take your day-night shades in and out more often by moving this down. You don't have to move it down far. Maybe a quarter of an inch. So you take your screws out, drop it down a quarter of an inch. It doesn't matter where these are, left and right. So what I would do is drop it down a quarter of an inch and move it over so you're far enough away from your original holes that your screws are not going to try to go back in the original holes. 